Juno's scent work ribbons, specifically the two title ribbons for her SCN and SIN, are relatively generic. Like they're they're not very specific to the title that she got. So I'd really like them to be like a little bit more extravagant and a little bit more specific. So what I'm gonna try to do is take all of these ribbons and turn them into two title ribbons with her placements that are just a little bit more extra. So I got these from Amazon and they are rosette makers. What I'm gonna try to do is take apart her ribbons, which is a little risky uh, because I might ruin them, and put them all together using these, like I said, to create something a little bit more extra. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. It could be a complete fail, it could be a win but we're gonna find out together. Okay, quick peek at the directions and I can see that I'm gonna need way more ribbon than the rosettes are gonna provide me in order to make these more extra rosettes. So, I mean, 44 inches and 35 inches for the large size, which is probably what I'm gonna to have to use, uh, 23 inches for a two inch. So, I just ordered some satin ribbon on Amazon and once it gets here, we will continue this process. My satin ribbon came in from Amazon. This is one and a half inch and this is one inch. Each piece is, I believe, two yards, which is plenty of enough ribbon to make the rosette, like the top part um, of the ribbon. So I'm really excited to play with this and see what we can create. Okay, I have quite the mess going on here, but I have deconstructed the ribbons that she got from the trial. Uh, here are, you know, all the pieces to those. This will go back on the back once I'm completed. But this is my first one. And it looked really good until I tried to push it out of this. So I gotta try and figure out maybe a better way to do that. I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit prettier again. But then this will go like this, and then we will reconstruct it. So I will show um, how I actually made it. I just really wanted to try to do it first without knowing that <laughs> it was being filmed uh, to kind of get the hang of it, but I think this is gonna be okay. The first thing before you start is you want to make sure that the wing each individual one of these is overlapping on the left. So the one on the right is overlapping the one on the left. And when you push the rosette through, sometimes they get messed up. So you want to make sure that you're resetting it before you start. And then I'm currently using one and a half, so I'm going to be going up to this holes here. Whereas if I was using one inch, I would be to the line. So you take your ribbon, your first ribbon, and you enter it into the device here up to the circles. And then with your thumb holding it here, you take the ribbon and you push it through like so. up to the top there. And now you see you have a little loop. So then you're going to continue to do that. Now you have two. And I'm still pretty new at this, so I'm slow. But as you can see, you're getting the shape of the rosette. And you're just going to continue that all the way around, and then I'll show you what to do after. Okay, so for the last step, it was a bit uh, hard to show on the black ribbon, so I'm showing you on the white. So you have where you finished, right here, and so you flip it over. You have this piece, 
you cut it about the length of one of the wings. And then you're going to take this fold here, pull it back. You're going to pull this piece out and then stick it into that one. Mine is a little long, so I'm going to cut it some more, but you stick it right into there. Now, the little makers come with round stickers. It comes with two, but obviously eventually you will run out of those. So I'm just using tape. Um, this is the back side, and this will be the front side. So I don't really care about this. It's going to get completely covered. So I'm just taping it up so it's nice and secure so when I push it back through, I don't lose the whole shape of the rosette. Now I have my two completed rosettes. I've got my big one for the back and my smaller one for the front and then my centerpiece. And I'm going to use hot glue to stick them all together. So here is the top of the rosette completed. I have glued it together. I glued it everywhere just to make sure it would really <laughs> stay together. But that's what that looks like. I laid these three out the way that I wanted them to sit in terms of how, like being even at the bottom and having the same gap here, right angles, all of that. And then I stapled the top together so that they wouldn't shift around. It'll be much easier to glue them onto the rosette with them stapled. So I am using gold heat transfer vinyl on my Cricut machine and I am cutting out the abbreviations for the titles like SCN, SIN, SEN, and SBN so that I can put them on her title ribbons so that they're more specific. I have weeded the Cricut vinyl design and I have placed it onto the ribbon. Now you need to be extremely careful with this. Definitely look up settings for your specific iron or your heat press if you're going to do this because you have to be really careful with the satin ribbon that you don't mess it up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with a tea towel just to protect it some more and make sure I don't get any of the other ribbons in there. So I've pulled them all back and I'm going to hold it on there for about 15 seconds and then once it cools you can pull the plastic off and it'll be heat pressed on there. Okay, so now I'm going to pull back the plastic and you have your vinyl. Oh, come on. There you go. On there. Here is the completed tails, I guess you would call them, for the ribbon. Now, she did get fourth place in one of her container runs, so I have added that onto the ribbon as well. The whole Memphis Kennel Club part will be covered up and it'll just show the scent work and fourth place. And then the actual title, scent work container novice. And now we need to attach the top and the back. Here is the completed rosette. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It is definitely not perfect. But I think it looks so much better than the original ones. And these are great. They're just a little bit plain. And I'm a little bit extra. So this is so fun. And I really can't wait now to do this one. Because I'm going to do red and black. And she's got you know some placements for interior too. So let me go ahead and make this one. And then I'll show you guys how it turns out. Okay, I have both of the rosette tops done for the second one, and these definitely came out better than the first one, so I'm getting the hang of that little tool, but it is pretty cool, and it honestly is, it is pretty easy. It's not too hard. I've got the top put together for the second one. This one definitely came out better, but I'm liking how it's looking so far. I've added the placements, and now it's time to put the rosette top on and the back. So here are... The two updated ribbons, or rosettes. So you can definitely see this is the first one I made. A little sloppy, a little crooked. And then this is the second one I made. 
but I'm very happy with both of them. I'm really glad to have something that has like what the title is for each one. Just something a little bit more specific and a little flashier. I did also keep all of the like extra pieces, so like the centers and the extra clips and then the gold ribbon pieces as well from all the placement ribbons because I want to be able to use them when I make her other scent work ribbons. So that definitely freed up a ton of space on her rack for more ribbons, which is super exciting. And I'm also just really, really happy with how they turned out. I can't wait to also make her ribbons for her exterior and buried when she eventually gets those titles. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything that I used will be linked down in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them down in the comments section. And we'll see you in the next one.